Okay, hello. Okay, um, I'm just going to talk about preamps, power amps, and what you can do with them. And you can actually get some significant sound improvements if, uh, if you have the right gear and they've got that facility uh, to separate the pre and the power amps. So, for those of you that don't know, now these are called, this is an ordinary amplifier, that's an ordinary receiver, uh, but they, you know, they're called integrated, that's an integrated amplifier. What they're talking about there is that the preamp and the power amp are in the thing together, which is kind of normal until you get into high-end stuff. Uh, just so as you know, the preamp, pre-amplifier, yeah, before the amplifier, is essentially all your tone controls, selectors, probably your phono stage, that means your turntable stage, which is a basically also another amplification system to get the signal from a turntable up to the same signal as say a CD player. So a turntable has a minute signal, you know, it's only generated by a stylus going up and down, it's absolutely tiny. So a turntable has to have its own turntable stage. So that's called phono, by the way. But all of that, and the tone controls and the volume knob, and da, 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 that's all called the preamp. The power amp is basically, think of it as the engine, the, the, tr the large transformers that do the amplifying, yeah? And in old, receivers and classic gear, you know, nice gear, uh, you will see, I'll show you in a second, the pre and the power amp can be separated at the back. So you can plug into your preamp or you can plug in to your power amp. Uh, now, interesting point. So what do we have here? This is a thing called a Sansui 8 Deluxe, which is uh, it was actually a very sought after second hand bit of kit. They go for like, I don't know, 300 quid, 400 quid. This is Sansui AU317. This goes for about 120 quid, yeah? Both of these, you can separate pre and power amp. Now this is an older thing, this Sansui 8. This is a more modern thing. So what I did recently as an experiment was to use the preamp of this. The preamp essentially got more circuitry in it. To use the preamp of this and the power amp of this. And I got really great results. So really what you're, I'm discovering is the preamp of this older receiver, amplifier, it isn't that good, yeah? But the power amp is really good. Yeah, everyone knows these are good things, but you know, the power amp is probably the better thing. So if you have old gear like Marantz, Sansui, Sun Pioneer, uh, I can't think of all the makes, yeah, Yamaha probably do, lots of people do, and you look on the back, and I'll show you any second now, and you see preamp out, power amp in, that means you can separate the pre and power amp. So if you've got an old amp, you, and you want to partner it, with a modernish or a more modern preamp, you might find you get some really nice sounding results. And this, from 1973 or something, whenever it is, I was recently comparing this with a Quad Elite. I think it's QSP, which is about a 700 quid quad amplifier, yeah? They basically sound pretty damn similar. This is a bit brighter than the quad, but they're actually just as detailed, really, you know, they're on a par. I actually probably prefer this because a little bit more brightness. The quad is a little bit backward, it's a little bit dull. And it's meant to be a valve sound, even though it's transistor, that quad. But uh, the point I'm making here is, you've got a really good power amp in here. And a lot of those old amps and receivers, it's the power amp that is the best thing about them. The preamp may be, you know, not, a, not as good as a modern one and has decayed over time. So if you can partner that with a modern preamp, you get something sound really good. Okay, so 
I'll show you the back and you'll see whether you have that facility or not. So I'm going to spin these round and then I'm just going to move the camera. Okay. Just hang on one second. Okay, so what we are looking for to see if you have the facility to do this, yeah? You're looking for these things here, these loop, these metal loops. It says preamp out, power amp in, and down here. Pre out, power in. And that metal there is linking the pre and the power amp inside this amplifier. So if I want to do what I described to you earlier and use the, the preamp of this and the power amp of that, first thing I'm going to do, turn all the power off, yeah? Make sure you do that. Do not do this while it's on. Now, we're going to join the preamp here into the power amp here. So we've got just ordinary phono to phono plugs. This is a very long lead, but it's just an ordinary phono to phono. So, first thing we're going to do is pull all these out. Now, we're going to go preamp out. Let's get it right. Red at the bottom. So, preamp out. Main in. That's what you want, yeah? Make sure you get that right. Preamp out, main in. Yes? And now your speakers, which you can, I think you can just see here, your speakers plug into your power amp, yeah? Not your preamp. The preamp is now uh, not delivering any power. It's just, it's just the control mechanism. So your speakers, and I've got one speaker lead just plugged in here to show you. Uh, now you can turn it on. Turn your power amp on first, then your preamp. And, you know, now you're going to put your CD player or your iPhone or whatever you want into the preamp, yeah? So just to show you, in here. And, I mean, the fact is, this is a younger preamp and it sounds better. This preamp is probably old and it's not sounding too good. But if you've got old gear and you can do this pre-power amp thing, it's worth playing around with because this Sansui just sounds super duper. Just using, you know, with its power amp is really good. It's as good as any modern power amp and it's beautiful sounding. So uh, that's what you can do with preamps and you don't have to switch any switches on the front, by the way. You just turn them both on, select aux, and the power, this will just come on. Your volume is on the preamp, yeah? All your controls are on the preamp. This power amp is, is basically, you're not gonna touch it, yeah? It's just doing its work on its own. All your controls are in the preamp. Okay, that's it. It's good fun, and you might get something sounding really good. Okay, thanks, bye now.